Let's talk about how much money you can make with a master's degree in cybersecurity. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how much money you can potentially make with a master's degree in cybersecurity. But before we get into all that, be sure to hit the like button, share button, subscribe, and also go sign up for a Tech G membership so you can begin your education on getting started in IT and cybersecurity. So let's go ahead and check out this article. All right. Article says graduates with a master's degree in cybersecurity are reporting average salaries of $214,000. They're out there collecting bags, y'all. Says when it comes to job demand, it's hard to beat the field of cybersecurity. It says by 2025, there will be an estimated 3.5 million unfilled cybersecurity jobs across the globe. According to Cybersecurity Ventures, which is a research and publisher that covers the international cyber economy, and that follows a 350% growth in the number of open cybersecurity jobs between 2013 and 2021. I've been telling you guys since forever that there are tons and tons of cybersecurity jobs and they need people to fill these roles. That's why you need to stop playing around and go get certified so you can get one of them jobs so you can make the big bucks. Article says, as practically all elements of work, life, and everything in between now have a digital component, something I've been telling y'all, the need to secure our information from cybersecurity threats has only grown. With that growth, master degree programs in cybersecurity have also flourished. It says the job market's insane for cybersecurity, it says Mary McKell, a career advisor for the Masters of Information and Cybersecurity program at the University of California in Berkeley. It said the university landed the number one spot on four Fortune's first ever ranking of the best online master's degree programs in cybersecurity. When you look at the opportunity and demand, it's tremendous. It says, whether contending with cyber criminals who wish to turn a profit from stealing information or challenging nation states that wish to do us harm, cybersecurity professionals are in an interesting and ever evolving field. And UC Berkeley grads are landing jobs with salaries more than two hundred thousand dollars so here's what you need to know it says how big is the demand for cybersecurity professionals well if you've been listening to the tech g channel you know that the demand is very big it says in june this person with this name who is the global chief security officer for amazon devices and services was the keynote speaker for berkeley's mics immersion program in her address this person said that amazon had more than 600 unfilled cybersecurity jobs it says that's a high number particularly given amazon's deep pockets says they're saying the demand is just going increasingly higher once we help students get visibility in the job market the amount of attention they're getting is tremendous says many master degree candidates in cybersecurity programs take part in summer internships with companies before graduating says most come back with an offer of full-time employment when they finish says this person right here who is a professor in the school of cybersecurity and privacy at georgia tech he says you will absolutely have a job lined up and yes that is true that is true in a lot of cases i know quite a few people who have went on to get bachelor's degrees and master degrees in cybersecurity or information technology and as soon as they graduated they went out there and got them a decent job as a matter of fact i myself i have a master's degree in information technology with an emphasis on information assurance which is directly related to cybersecurity. and once i finished my degree requirements i had people banging down my door offering me a job too so guess what the same can happen for you for those of you who are going for these higher specialized degrees it says while a master's degree in cybersecurity or a related subject like computer science isn't required to work in cybersecurity, which is true it goes a long way to inform candidates on the latest trends and happenings in the field. So don't get this twisted, ladies and gentlemen. You do not need a degree or a master's degree to work in cybersecurity. All you need is some certifications and some experience and you are in the door. Bachelor degrees and master degrees in cybersecurity, that's like sprinkles on top of the ice cream, which can help you get possibly access to other benefits and goodies and or job positions, which oftentimes come with higher pay. But you don't necessarily have to get all of that to begin a career in cybersecurity or even work in cybersecurity. But if you do want to get that, just understand that that might lead to other opportunities 
opportunities that you probably won't be able to get access to without those degrees. Since a master's degree is going to prepare you for the highest skill, top level careers, Ahmad says, since a master's degree is essentially going to make a specialist in cybersecurity. So how much can you make with a master's in cybersecurity? Says if you have a master's in cybersecurity, it's fairly common to earn a six figure salary immediately after graduation. It's a profession that will pay you well, says Ahmad. The vast majority of graduates head out to the Microsofts and the Googles and the Cisco's and the Intel's. So basically, you're going to have to move to Silicon Valley or somewhere over there. So according to UC Berkeley salary survey of alumni, graduates with a master's degree in cybersecurity make an average salary of $214,000, not including bonuses. The median salary is $200,000. And some graduates who are now executives, such as chief information security officers, chief information officers, and CTOs or chief technology officers, they make more than $300,000. So basically, these are the positions where you're up there going to the golf club with the CEO where you're basically going to have to have some type of graduate level degree or maybe even higher if you want to become like a CTO, CIO, or CISO. That's kind of what that implies. That doesn't mean that you have to have these degrees to work in cybersecurity. But if you want to be at the executive suite with the big dogs that run the company, you're probably going to have to have these degrees. That's what that is saying. And that's why those salaries are so high. And that was what I was alluding to earlier when I was talking about the sprinkles on the ice cream. And also you have to take into account where are these jobs located? So you go work for Google and you're making $200,000. That's probably the equivalent of you working in Atlanta, Georgia, making $100,000 because of the cost of living is so expensive out there. So you have to factor that into the equation as well. When it comes to people advertising these high salaries, where are these jobs located? Because $200,000 in San Francisco, you can pretty much be one paycheck away from dancing in front of a 7-Eleven asking people to give you a dollar because the cost of living is ridiculous out there. But $200,000 in the city that I live in down here in Central Florida, you are on damn near baller status down here. So factor that into the equation as well when you see these high salaries being advertised. Article says the CISO roles are going to be more over the 250000 300000 salary mark closer to 400000 depending on the company and the size of the organization. Says the median pay for computer programmers who write, test, and modify code and scripts so that the applications and computers can work properly was about $93,000 in 2021. It's not bad. It says information security analysts who plan and carry out security measures to protect the computer networks and systems of an organization have a median pay of about $102,000. And computer network architects who design and build data communication networks such as intranets, WANs, and LANs, they had a median income of about $120,000 in 2021. So even those numbers ranging from 93,000 to as high as 120,000 is still not a bad income, especially if you live in an area that doesn't have an extremely high cost of living like California does or New York. Article says those graduates who go to work for the government generally make less money. The knowledge gained from becoming familiar with government systems that need to be secured can pay off if they eventually work for a major defense contractor. Yes, I know a lot of people that became contractors started off in the military or they were a civilian working with the military in some capacity and then they became a contractor and their paychecks just went sky high so contracting is a way to go if you want to make a lot of money in a short amount of time you can look into contracting especially if you can get a job overseas in what they call a danger zone area or you can make ridiculous cheese over there but being that it is a danger zone area you have to worry about other things possibly taking place as well says the experience is golden Ahmad says they're dealing with sophisticated nation state threats so with the systems and the applications and the high level of security that's needed once they have the experience Experience that really makes them first class at cybersecurity. Mikhail says that while some cybersecurity masters graduates from Berkeley head to the public sector, most take new jobs in the private sector. People with the professional master's degrees are now open to a path of incredible career opportunities. There is an ability to apply those skills in any industry or around the globe because they can take that core skill and apply it to something they're very passionate about. All right, folks, there you have it. If you go out there and you get a master's degree in cybersecurity, you can possibly earn $214,000 a year, according to this article. Now, like I stated earlier, you got to keep in mind, where are these jobs located? Because a lot of these grad students were coming out of UC Berkeley, and they're probably going to end up going to Silicon Valley. And 
man, if you earn $200,000 in Silicon Valley, that's not really saying much because of the high cost of living out there. But if you can find you a job paying $200,000 somewhere out in Texas, Florida, Georgia, or some state with a low cost of living, and you manage to make $200,000 a year, you can go to the club and throw money up every single night. That's the type of lifestyle you can live. You come down to where I live at, you make $214,000 a year. I expect to see you in the club making it rain. If I come out to California and you tell me you're earning $214,000 a year, I expect to see you living in an apartment the size of a box and you can't really do anything but go to work and come home. That's just kind of how this goes. So I'm really just here to stress to you, when you guys see these numbers, for those of y'all who are not in IT, you have to factor in location, location, location. Where are these jobs being advertised and promoted that are paying these high salaries? And oftentimes when you come across news like this, they're almost always talking about jobs located around Silicon Valley. And nobody really explains to you the cost of living factor and how that directly impacts these high salaries. But your man Tech G is going to tell you this stuff because I care about the people. But with that being said, do not get discouraged. You know, for those of you who didn't go to college or you have no plans of going to college, you can still get into IT and cybersecurity and make a lot of money without a college degree. I know plenty of people who make six figures and they don't have a college degree. Matter of fact, my youngest brother works in cybersecurity. He dropped out of college his freshman year. He makes close to $140,000 a year. And he's been working in IT for probably about nine, maybe 10 years now. Started off at the help desk doing some help desk activities then eventually transitioned into a cybersecurity role. Now his job is paying him close to $140,000 a year. And where we live at, he can go to the club and throw the money up in the air if he wanted to, because that is a lot of money down here that the average person in our area doesn't make. So with that being said, don't sweat these degrees. Now, for those of you who do want to get a degree because you're like, I want to move up beyond just being a so-called busy bee worker. I want to be the CTO, the CISO, the CIO, the chief information officer. I want to sit at the executive suite where you may have to get a bachelor's and a master's degree in cybersecurity for those positions. That's just kind of how this thing works. And another thing is, depending upon what company you work for, you might luck up and work for a company that will pay for your educational endeavors, meaning They'll front you the money and you go to school, get the good grades, and then they'll possibly promote you or put you in some type of training program to promote you. Or you go to school, get the grades, come back, give them your report card, and they reimburse you. That's a possibility as well. So don't fear it for those of you who don't want to go back to school. Basically, what you got to do is just kind of put together your plans for career progression. And if within your plans that a certain position requires you to have a master's degree like cybersecurity, then by all means, begin making those plans to attain your master's degree and hopefully seek some type of funding outside of just you taking out student loans or paying for that your pocket, look to your employer to see if they will pay for your schooling or if they will do some type of tuition reimbursement, which a lot of companies do offer that, especially if they're a good company. But if you don't want to do any of that and you just want to sit around and click clack on the computer and you know do some cybersecurity related tasks day in and day out and collect your hundred thousand dollar checks every year, you can do that too and be just as happy. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you want to be getting that education, well, I need you to hit the the like button, the share button, subscribe to this channel and go join a Tech G membership where I teach you the entry level IT certifications that you need to know to build your foundation, such as IT fundamentals, A plus, network plus, and security plus. And you can use that information to funnel yourself into a cybersecurity role so that you can move up in the ranks and start making the big bucks when it comes to defending these systems. So anyways, that's the news for the day, ladies and gentlemen. So be sure to hit the like button, share button, comment, and subscribe. And with that, I will holler at you on the next video. So peace.